other universities. Uh, the reason why I went to this school specifically is because I took networking classes. Like I actually had to do like projects with networking. You had to do like a network design I had to do implementation network. class? I had one or two of those, which I was very happy that I took because I learned very quickly. Yeah, gonna, we can I, dive into. Sure. But so the funny thing is, well, ironically, you brought up you have a degree, I guess, in CIS, right? Yeah, yeah. Every, so every ironically, university does it differently, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when, my second video was about, like, you know, why you should, like, I, it really is not why you should get a CIS, a CIS degree. Or I, I kind of explained why I chose it. But mm -hmm. I'm in the process of a scripting now, of redoing that video and telling people, like, maybe why they should and technically why they should just kind of avoid it at all costs. Uh, mm. My experience with it through my university is, it was very high level and vague. So you pretty much don't specialize in anything when you come out and you spread yourself so thin, you don't know much mm. because we own a quarter system. So we right. would do classes, you know, every quarter. And so there's no, you know, consistency there. And you throw in those different interviews. It, it, it was tough. I, I mean, i got my break. Like I said, I helped this, but anything else was it was hard to do i mean granted i didn't really yeah. know how to navigate college like i that i'm trying to I, show my brother stuff now i have like such a okay i don't know how to describe it because i'm not that passionately upset about it but i think any person that puts in the money to go to college should not passively just pick a school do not just pick a school like it's I you know when we're talking Ivy Leagues I understand it's very different because the Ivy at the Ivy League level the network that you surround yourself like so much of that money goes into the network and then you're set for life like you could right. probably transition back and forth it doesn't matter you've got Princeton on your title but like as great reputation and I'm happy to say that I went to Purdue University and as much of a okay. great reputation as Purdue has funny enough I went to Purdue, which is an engineering school, didn't go for engineering. Um, no, same here. My my undergrad was at Louisiana Tech University. Oh, okay. for engineering. Yeah. But they didn't really show love to CIS either. No, but you know, I didn't even start at that university with you know, like CIT. I started in computer science thinking, oh, I'm just going to learn programming. Um, that was a huge mistake <laughs> for me because Purdue's university, <laughs> Purdue University's science a science like the the emphasis on the science part um right and you could always you can uh, there's a there's a whole bunch of rabbit holes about like do you need to learn like algorithms to become a good programmer i am not qualified for that conversation but i am qualified mm -hmm. to tell you that i am the plan a b c d e gal and i didn't look at just the title of the degree i looked at the actual classes that i was taking and that was a huge contender for how I was going to, what schools I was going to apply to. Because a lot of what you're describing is very similar to the things that I was learning in uh, when I compared to other universities. Uh, the reason why I went to this school specifically is because I took networking classes. Like I actually had to do like projects with networking. You had to do like a network design I had to do implementation network. class? I had one or two of those, which I was very happy that I took because I learned very quickly cybersecurity. Aim for me. Not going to do it. <laughs> um, business, like a lot of this, these tech classes, I'm telling you, business gathering, uh, requirements gathering. I actually took like a graduate course in project management. Like these are actually really great things to have on your resume. And I just like had this vision of like, I'm going to pick it, you know, they they crafted a really great program. And so, right. and, and, you know, obviously the hard part is just getting in. At that time, I wasn't thinking about, oh, no, that. And I'm very grateful I wasn't thinking about the money. I'm thinking about it now because I'm going back to school. But uh, take a very careful look at what the classes are because, you know, eventually what's going to happen is you're going to go in the interview and then you have to have these conversations about like, oh, well, what are the projects that you're doing? What have you learned in the school? What have you picked up from it? And like academics and uh, academia is very different from corporate America. So you have to draw the line. And I know for a lot of people, they don't know how to draw that line. So 
uh, a struggle for the ages. Uh, <laughs> if I if I couldn't like put it any better than that, but I I know for me the um, the discussion about like okay, I got the CIT degree. I know people with my degree that did become engineers, who did become programmers. And, just, you know, sometimes you have to admit to yourself, like, I just, it's just not, maybe I'm just not good at that. Um, and so that's what I, I think as far as, like, the ROI of a certification uh, won't get you to the finish line, but it sure helps getting mm-hmm. your foot in the door. So, and, and, and not to dismiss my four-year degree, like, traditional no, no, no. yeah first conversation that i have with people a lot of the time is like because uh, i for i work with an apprentice and she was like feeling really discouraged because she's getting this incredible experience at uh, my company and i was just like gotta power through it man because if you want to move anywhere else traditional companies especially banking you know all the money is in banking if you are motivated by money you have to get the four-year degree even if it's in finance even if it's in the arts like you can get the experience later, but you got to get the four-year yeah. degree. So you brought up something, a good point. And I think one of the, the issues also was that we had, so we had to take like, it's not, the rest, the, the degree wasn't trash. It's just, it wasn't right. structured mm-hmm. good enough and didn't show us how to sell ourselves enough. Because we took some good classes, like for example, like, my supply chain class was hard, but I learned a lot. Yeah. But on top of that, you know, we took, like I said, network design and implementation, system analysis and design. We did um, database class. We did. Uh, I did. I took a forensic. These are all class. great took, stuff. Yeah. Right. So they were on. So they were on my resume as like you know course related you know schoolwork. However, but mm-hmm. what should have happened is if I would have had somebody that I could have leaned on back then, they should said, hey. What projects did you do in that class? You know, boom. Oh, list what you did in your capstone class. Like, because oh, yeah. we Dude, had to I design. Didn't even, I didn't even have a capstone. I just. Really? <laughs> I didn't even have a capstone. I know a lot of people in other schools did. I did not. But no, I. <laughs> <laughs> it's ghetto out in here. <laughs> yeah. But, but see. Yeah. But no, you, you're right, though. I mean, but I think. What I'm leaning at now is I'm a, I feel like an old head now. I just made 30. <laughs> I've probably right now I graduated I got I graduated from undergrad in 2013, but I was doing mm-hmm. IT stuff since like 2012. So technically I'm, I'm like 10 years in mm-hmm. just in general. But I've circled back and talked to the main the head professor that used to be my professor that's over mm-hmm. that program now. Yeah. The classes are similar, but the thing that I saw that uh, it's an issue now is and we'll get into some other questions later but what i find mm-hmm. out with schools a lot is like they aren't paying attention to what's on the actual job descriptions mm-hmm. meaning they aren't teaching uh some of the classes that would be teaching the softwares or programs that people would need when it's time for them to get out of school mm-hmm. therefore they don't have a lot of experience the schools has the resources they just need to change you know their stuff like um the course didn't come with, uh, the curriculum didn't come with any class that, you know, say, oh, you got to pass the cert at the end or anything. I'm like, y'all should look into that because you're putting your students at a disadvantage to everybody else. If you're having to make them go, I met with plenty of people that are in a school, but still come for me to coaching and stuff like that because yeah. school just isn't giving, you know, what is, what does a lot of them say? It's giving, it's not giving what they need. It's what it's meant to <laughs> give. Yeah. <laughs> it, so yeah. that's the whole issue. Like, I don't think it's a waste. I just think it needs to be restructured. I think the first two years need to be classes in their major. And then the last year and a half needs to be some type of dedicated apprenticeship or clinical, just like medical students do. Yeah. Then you have less people coming out of school, not knowing how to really do anything, and they don't know how to do something. They should be able to get a job. Now, it's going to pay the best? No. Mm-hmm. But that's the way, if I was running a university, and if I ever tried to go do something at a university, that's what I would pitch to them. I know yeah. that's hard to set that up infrastructure-wise. You're going to need companies that want to help, or maybe yeah. you can do it within the actual university. Yeah. I mean, they all, all the same things that's in corporate, like universities hire for most of those same jobs. Maybe the team isn't as big, Mm -hmm. but that could be something they could look into. And if y'all steal my idea while we're talking, I will find you. 
<laughs> I will find you. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, 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 frankly, I'd be right on board with you. I think one of the easiest ways to do it, and this is why I say like the school is so important because I, um, for me, like, you know, that introductory course that everyone gets slapped in the beginning of freshman year to learn more about, mm -hmm. like, how to become a more culturally sound person.